I was able to get myself out of a book slump and then I put myself right back into a book slump. So we're gonna try this again. How we're gonna do that is I'm not gonna pay attention to anyone's recommendations because clearly people are recommending me not good books. And so if you have a recommendation, I do always appreciate them. I will not be paying attention to them in this video at all, not a single one. I just need to go back to my roots and read stuff that I know for sure I like and enjoy. So that's what we're gonna do. And I think we're gonna start with Spells for Forgetting by Adrienne Young. I actually started this yesterday. I didn't get very far. I'm on page 24, which is uh, just finishing chapter three. I started it yesterday. I read a little bit this morning, just like the tiniest bit this morning. But on top of that, I really, really, really want to be consistent in my reading. And so I thought it would be fun. I've been seeing this trend going around. I don't know who started it. I don't know if Sarah Caroli started it. I know Faith just recently did a video on it. Basically, for every time I pick up my phone, I'm going to read a page. And so I've already screenshotted my week's worth of pickups. And it looks as though last Saturday, I picked up my phone 78 times. And so we are going to read 78 pages. And how are we are going to track that is through this app that I have called Bookmori. And if you don't know what Bookmori is, this is not sponsored at all. This is not sponsored. But Bookmori is really great as an app in general. I really love it because you can track your reading. It tracks like your book calendar, which is so fun. I love, I love the book calendar. I love seeing like how I'm reading, when I'm reading, how many days I'm reading, all of that stuff. It also tracks like your pages that you read, all this, all the, like the statistics and it's just really fun and cool and I like it. I recently started using this. I wasn't using it before even though one of my friends is the one that recommended that I use the app to begin with. I just wasn't using it prior because I was, I was not really using apps at that time. I really just used Goodreads. We're using the app so that we can track our reading because it's the easiest way to track my reading this way, especially if I decide to read more than, oh, I got a message. I, I think it's going to be the easiest way for me to track my reading this way, especially if I read more than one book. We're going to start with for, uh, Spells for Forgetting and I have my, my salad and my OJ. So we're going to start reading and then read 78 pages worth. I think today I've read 14 pages. So if I already read uh, 14 pages and I have 78 pages that I have to read, so then I just have to read 64 more pages, which is um, if I've on page 24 already, then I just need to get to page 88. Okay. That's, that's the goal is to get to page 88. All right. We're going to, we're going to go to read. Okay, so I actually finished my reading for the day. I had to read 78 pages and that was like to page 88. I actually read a little bit more than that because I'm now on chapter 15, which is page 96. And so far I'm, I'm really liking the book. It's giving creepy, but like Disney Channel creepy and I'm for it. I really love Adrian Young's writing. I loved the Fable series. And so like, I already went into this kind of knowing that I was going to really like where this book was gonna take me, but I'm gonna be, I'm sorry, somebody is messaging me so much. I wasn't familiar with this story. I didn't really know what I was gonna get when I was going into it, but I am really excited. So basically what I have gathered in the first 95 pages is there is this girl and this guy and they have some history together. So there's Emery and there's Austin. Austin left the uh, island that they lived on 14 years ago after there was a giant fire and one of their very dear friends passed away in that fire and people think that Austin is the cause of her passing. And so he and his mother left the island never to return, never wanting to return and never being asked to return. The entire townspeople really were upset and devastated by this loss. They all think that Emery covered for Austin. They also think that this other guy named Dutch covered for Austin and the sheriff covered for Austin because it's a little tricky the sheriff and Austin's mother, Eloise, were 
kind of an item. Like the, I guess the sheriff who is Emery's uncle was in love with Eloise, Austin's mom. And so they think that they allowed her to influence him in his decision. I'm not really sure what the actual story is because I haven't gotten there yet, but basically the island is pretty magical. The island is called, um, Sersha and I think I'm saying that right. I think I got it right. I think it's Sersha. Basically, the island is magical. Everybody on there has some sort of like magic going on. And the whole island is giving these like really bad omens. It's kind of creepy. Like there's a lot of fog going on. This bird like runs into Emery's tea shop and like falls with a broken neck and everything. And like, it's like, I don't know, it's giving creepy and I'm really liking it. I did think that this was YA when I went into it. It is definitely not. Cause I think she's 32. Like, I think both of them are in their thirties. I'm pretty sure they're like 32, somewhere around there. So definitely not YA, but I, I am really, really liking it so far. It's very interesting. And I think that this will be one of those books that I think tomorrow, I can't remember how many pages I have to read tomorrow. Let's find out. Tomorrow is Sunday and I only have to read 64. I only have 64 pickups from the previous Sunday. So, but I really do think that this is going to be one of those books that is kind of hard for me to put down. There's only 346 pages in this too. And so I don't know. I'm quite excited. Oh no. If I only read based on my pickups, it looks as though I wouldn't finish this until sun, uh, until Wednesday, because that is how many like pages it's going to take. Oh my goodness. So I wouldn't finish this until Wednesday, but I, I really am liking it. And so I kind of want to maybe read a little bit more than my pickups. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see because honestly, Sundays are quite kind of busy for me. So the fact that I only have to read 64 pages might be a blessing in disguise, but Monday I only have to read 53 pages. So I might read a little bit more on Monday. We'll see what happens. I just wanted to catch you up on how my reading has been going. Also, I don't know if I said this before, but I read this, like I finished it a couple hours ago, but I was in bed cozy and I just was like, I don't want to get out of this bed right now. I just want to like lie here and stay cozy. So um, I did finish this a while ago, but, or like my reading, pages reading my pages that I needed to read today. I finished it. Okay. Anyways, I'm very happy with this. I am nervous because I'm really liking this book. And if I really like this book and I get myself out of a book slump again, I'm nervous that the next book I pick is going to put me back into a mood, uh, into a book slump. So I need to be very careful with what I choose for my next book because I will be so angry with myself if I keep putting myself in these book slumps. Like I will be so mad and frustrated. So we're just going to read this and be happy with it. And then we're gonna be very careful with what our next book is, okay? Okay. Happy Sunday. So we did do our reading for yesterday. Today, I'm I'm supposed to read 64 pages because I, I picked up my phone 64 times last Sunday. And Sundays are probably one of my least pick up days because we go to church and then we do errands and there's like a lot that's going on. So I'm not surprised that there's not a lot to read today, but I'm going to go ahead and read my 64 pages. We just got home from doing errands and all of that stuff. So I am a little sleepy. It's six o'clock. I am a little sleepy. I've been up all day, um, but we're just going to do, I'm just going to read this really fast and then I don't know if I'm going to update you today. Probably not. Probably will update you tomorrow. I know I it, 64 pages is about an hour's worth of reading, but still like after I do this, then I'm going to go make dinner. My husband's upstairs right now um, doing some handiwork that we need done around the house. So um, he's doing that. I'm going to read and then I'll probably start dinner and then probably go to bed. So I'll probably update you tomorrow. If I do do it tonight, if like, if I do update you tonight, it'll be a miracle. So don't, don't count on it, but I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> Yesterday, I only read the 65 pages, or I think it was like 64 pages, but I read 65 to get to the chapter, but I only read the... <laughs> 
numbered pages that I was supposed to read because it was late. I was so tired. Like I just was so tired yesterday. So I didn't get to read that much, but I am going to say I really, really love this book. I think it's so, so good so far. I'm almost halfway through. I think I'm almost halfway through. I just said that, but it's fine. Anyways, um, I'm on page 160 or 161. I'm on chapter 27. So uh, I am I am about halfway through the book and it's so good. It's very like I was reading it and I was like, you know what album is like perfect for this book is Taylor Swift's Evermore. Like that is like the most perfect album and I was actually listening to it while reading my pages yesterday. Every track fit so good. Like every track. It was pretty phenomenal. I wonder if she was actually just listening to that album on repeat when writing this. Um, so today I have to read 53 pages, which is, I will probably finish the chapter and get to chapter 38 which is page 218. I wish I picked up my phone more often so that I could read longer. You know what I mean? I'm going to read my 53 pages and then I don't know if I'm gonna continue or if I would stop. Some of this is like hard to stop at because you get to like really good points. I'm really loving this book because there's a lot that's not being said, but being said at the same time. And Honestly, like, did I ever tell you what this book is about? I can't remember. I'm very intrigued as to how this story ends. Like, I'm, I'm like, I'm nervous because tomorrow I'm supposed to get like a large chunk done and I would only have like a little more than a hundred pages left. So I think tomorrow, if I can, I would probably, oh no, I have so much to do at night. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Things are happening. Like a lot of things are happening right now. I read more than I was supposed to today. I'm now on chapter 42, page 244. And I was supposed to stop at 218 or something like that. And um, I just kept reading, but <laughs> things are happening. This is getting crazy. I don't know what's going on. I'm so confused. I think I know what's going on, but I also don't think I know what's going on. But some things have been cleared up, which I'm very excited about. I'm loving this story. I'm loving the like eerie vibes to it, the mystical realism, mystical, magical, magical realism, whatever it is. Anyways, I'm having such a good time reading this book though. It is perfect for this season. It is literally so good. If you need a book for Halloween that's like eerie, creepy, but like Disney level creepy. This is the book for you. If you want like a good mystery to just read on Halloween, this is perfect. It's got everything that you really need and want and desire. So I'm really excited about this, but I, I don't know if I can wait until tomorrow. I have like a hundred pages left. Let's see, I'm on page 244. There's 346 pages. So I have 102 pages left. This is it. That's all that I have left. I don't know. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know if I can wait until tomorrow to finish this. I don't know. I might have to finish it today. Here's the thing. It's early. It's 1020 AM. I have chores that I'm supposed to be doing right now and I don't wanna do them. I just wanna finish. What if I just finish the book and then do my chores? You know what I mean? Like, what if I just do that? I finished. I finished today. I decided to go ahead and just finish the book because it was getting too good, like way too good. And I was like, no, we're not waiting until Wednesday to finish this. We're finishing it now. So I went ahead and just finished the book. It was so good. It was so good. I, oh my gosh, I have, I don't even, I have chills. I think that this book is just fantastic. It's, 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 it's phenomenal. I give it four stars. I'm giving it four stars right now. I'm just going to give it four stars. It's the perfect time to read it. The trees outside are like orange, gold, red. Like it's so perfect to read at this point. I was not expecting what happened. I will be honest. I really did think that there was another character involved. And when they weren't, I was like, oh, oh. And it gets very deep. It goes, it, it, it like is very messed up in a way. I did really like 
all of the characters. I loved all of the secrets. I loved that the secrets, like when they do finally come out, the secrets you're like, wait, hold on. I'm sorry. Oh, is it just tracking me? Okay, hold on. Okay, it's not. It doesn't look, it doesn't appear to be in slow motion. All of the characters that have secrets, like their secrets are secrets. And like all of the lies that build up, it starts to make sense when you start to piece it together. Towards the end, I was freaking out towards the end. And I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> like once things were coming to light, I think the only drawback is the ending. I kind of wish we got more of the ending because there are so many loose ends. Like, I don't know why there are so many loose ends, but there are a lot, like a lot of loose ends. And so that was like really the only bummer. Um, and I feel as though like the ending just needed to be worked on a little bit better. I would have liked a different ending, but other than that, leading up to it, absolutely incredible, absolutely incredible, absolutely incredible. The ending, didn't do it for me, but <laughs> I did like it up until the ending. That part was good. So anyways, I'm, yeah, I'm giving this four stars. I also spilled some soy sauce on here, which is kind of a bummer, but that's okay. I got to figure out what book I'm going to read tomorrow because tomorrow is a reading day. It's 101 pages that I have to read. So we'll see what book I choose. I'm going to be thinking of this book all day today though. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be real with you. Yesterday I finished Spells for Forgetting and today I have to read how many pages today. Also, I'm wearing the same thing that I wore yesterday because mind your own, okay? I'm pregnant and I fell asleep. It's what happens. Today I have to read, Taste Tuesday, yes. Today I have to read 101 pages. So I'm actually kind of excited because I'm starting the Percy Jackson series, the Percy Jackson and the Olympians. This is book one. This is The Lightning Thief. I, I love Percy Jackson. I think this book is so funny and I want to read it. So um, that's what we're going to do. We're going to read 100, 101 pages and then we're going to stop for the day because the midwives are going to be here and the guy that's fixing our roof is also going to be here. Everybody's going to be here. And so I just need to, I need to focus is what I need to do. So that's what we're going to do. Enjoy the reading. <laughs> Okay, we are three pages in and I forgot, I forgot about this girl, Nancy Bobo Fit. She eats, this is how you know she's evil. This is how you know someone is not a good person. She's eating peanut butter and ketchup sandwich. Who does that? Who does that? Who eats? That's pure evil. That's pure evil. In fact, borderline demonic. In fact, she clearly needs to be put down or something. I don't know. But like, I have questions for her parents. I have questions for her guardians. I, I have questions for a lot of people because I do not believe that she in any way, shape or form is slightly sane. Okay. She is not a good person. If you're eating peanut butter and ketchup sandwiches, you're not, you automatically, we have issues. I don't trust you. I don't, I don't have faith in you. I don't believe in you. I do not have any good, any good ideals towards you. Okay. That that's, that's messed up. Okay. The kleptomania, I can understand. The peanut butter and ke I draw the line. Okay. So again, we're still on page three. It's just the bottom of the page though. But Percy says, looking back on it, I wish I'd decked Nancy Boba Fett right then and there. In school suspension would have been nothing compared to the mess I was about to get myself into. Listen, listen, I do not condone hitting a woman. I never, never condone hitting a woman. Sometimes you need backstory though. Sometimes you just, you need to know the backstory. For instance, you need to know that that girl 
was eating peanut butter and ketchup sandwiches. You need backstory sometimes. Sometimes you need backstory. I don't condone it. I'm just saying sometimes you want to know why things escalated. Okay, so I started this last night and I, or not last night, but yesterday, and I read a hundred, my thing was to read 101, but I read 106. So I am now, I just checked and I totally forgot. I'm on chapter eight. And so far this book, I forgot how funny the Percy Jackson series is and how comical it is. I don't know if you watched the movies or if you watched the Disney Plus show. I personally was not a huge fan of the Disney Plus show. I also wasn't a fan of the movies, but I feel as though the movies did capture the spirit of Percy Jackson a lot better because Logan Lerman is just very funny, like naturally, like he's just, he's just perfect in inserting those comical moments and it was wonderful. It was just, it was just so wonderful. Hello, sorry about that. So as I was saying, sorry, I got a phone call. I feel as though Logan Lerman is just really good at getting those like comical moments. Whereas the new Disney Plus, first of all, it was so dark. I did not know what was going on half the time. I was like, why is it so dark in here? But also I just felt like the the comedy was not translating and I felt like they took a very serious role with the whole show. I almost said film, but I couldn't remember what the show was. So I feel like they took a whole thing with the whole show and it, it just was a lot. It was a lot. I do, I do really like this. I think the comedy is perfect. I am Greek. I don't know if I've ever said this on here, but I am Greek. My whole family is from Greece and we're very, very Greek. And so uh, reading this has just been fun because I think a lot of us, at least in my family, we are are, we don't take anything seriously. Like we just don't take anything seriously at all. Everything's a joke. And so the way that Percy Jackson is talking, like I can see cousins talking like this when like horrible things are in the middle of happening. I am really excited to just read this. Honestly, it took it took a lot of willpower for me to stop at chapter eight, but I really wanted to try and just read the pickups for the day. So let's check out what my pickups are for today. Today is Wednesday. My total pickups for today will be 71. That's all we're allowed to read today is just 71 pages. I will probably go up to chapter 12, which is page 188. So I'll read 10 extra pages, which is good for me because that's <laughs> I really just want to I want to read so much of this but yeah so that's what we'll do we'll we'll go from here to here. we're just gonna read this much and then we just have this much left isn't that crazy if you've read Percy Jackson I need to know immediately what your thoughts are of this book I have been laughing like every chapter is a banger like every single chapter is so good yeah so i need to know i need to know if you've read this book how you felt about it if you like if you've read the whole series what you've thought about it if you continued because i know that he has it's it's more than just this series it goes off into like other characters and stuff like that there's like a whole nother I think I can't remember what the other series are called it's like on the tip of my tongue but this is not this does not mean <laughs> but it's like it's I I have it I just can't think of the name for someone it's like the oh gosh it's right there too it's right there I guess I don't know I'm just gonna go and read this and have a really good time and I will I will update you guys as I read. This has been so fun. It's hard for me to not stop periodically because there's so many times when I want to be like, oh my gosh, this is so funny. And I want to talk about it with you guys. That would make this vlog very, very long though if I just continuously stopped. But if you guys ever do want an in-depth vlog like that, I would love to with this series.
Okay, I've read. I finished my reading for today. I'm loving this. I love this book so much. Right now, we are on this quest. We are looking for the Master Bolt, and I am having such a good time reading this. Like, honestly, I realize that this is... YA. It's a YA book, but it's really uh, geared towards middle schoolers. These are sixth grade kids. But honestly, like I am just having the best time reading this. I am just having so, so much fun. And if you haven't read the Percy Jackson series, I don't know where you've been, but it is probably one of the funniest series. I do remember when this book came out. It also came out around the time when Harry Potter was really big. And so Back in the day, you had to choose. It was NSYNC, Backstreet Boys, it was Hilary Duff or Lindsay Lohan, it was Percy Jackson or Harry Potter. It was always, 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 you had to choose. You couldn't be in both camps. And so, you know, like Divergent versus Hunger Games. So there are books that I haven't read because I had chosen the other team. And I read all of the Harry Potter books when I, when they first came out. I remember waiting in line at Mr. Paperback at midnight to get my copy of the newest Harry Potter book and then reading it all night so that I could go to school and talk about it with my friends. There were people that read Percy Jackson Jackson, but not many. Most of us chose Harry Potter, just in my school in general. But okay, let, we got to be real right now. There was like 30 kids in my class. So or like in my grade, in my grade, there was 30 kids in my grade. So it was very small of a school. I lived in a very small town. So yeah, just you know, like keep that in mind when you're like, oh, most people went for Harry Potter. There was only 30 people. <laughs> <laughs> so, and there weren't many of us that really enjoyed reading in the first place. So yeah, a lot of us uh, went with the Harry Potter route and I just wish I had gone towards the Percy Jackson route because this is just way funnier. I mean, I love Harry Potter, I do, but this is just so gold and I'm really enjoying it. So anyways, um, I have done my reading for today and we will resume tomorrow. I forget how much I'm supposed to read tomorrow, but we'll find that out tomorrow. Good morning. So we are on, what are we even on? Chapter 12, we are on page 188, making very good progress in this book. Uh, today we are going to do our reading. So let's see how many pickups I had last Thursday was 85. So 85 pickups a week ago. So we are going to go ahead and read 85 pages today. And since we are in page 188, let's do some math really fast. I'm going to read to page 283 on chapter 18 because that's where the next chapter ends. So we're just going to do that. We actually, I, we're going to finish this book tomorrow. We're going to finish it tomorrow, Friday, because the next, I know that Friday I have to read 101 pages because I picked up my phone 101 times. And so we will have this done tomorrow. And I'm very, very excited about that. Honestly, like I'm so stoked, but yeah. So let's just get our reading. Oh, I just totally close to the page. We're going to get our reading in and then talk. This is such a good book. So good. I, I feel like I just keep talking about this over and over again, but definitely a high recommendation if you are looking for, if you're looking for an easy read, a funny read, and a very entertaining read, and like just a good time, like a very good time, I highly recommend the Percy Jackson series. It is so good. It's just, it's just such a fun time to read. So, okay, let's, let's do that. Okay, I only have 3% battery left, but I just wanted to say that I finished my reading for today and this is, Honestly, like I'm, I'm kind of freaking out because like there's not much left of the book. Like there's just this bit left and I would love to just finish it today, but I obviously I'm not going to, I'm going to wait till tomorrow and continue with the video. I just want to say that this book is really, really, really good and I am loving it so far. We are almost to the end. Like we're so close to the end and I'm very excited for that. So I'm just going to 
set this aside and go do something else. Maybe like do some cleaning or something. I don't know. Maybe take a nap. I don't know. I going to be honest with you guys. I am a little sad that today is the last day for reading how many times I pick up my phone reading those pages. Like I'm a little, I just need, I'm a little sad that today's the last day because I kind of had a lot of fun doing this. I don't know. It was a fun little challenge. Um, so I am going to be finishing the Percy Jackson, the lightning thief book one of the Olympians. And it's just, it's just sad. It's just sad. Now today I am supposed to be reading 101 pages. I am on page 283. There are 375 pages. So if you do some fast math, there's eight pages left that I should be reading of another book. However, I'm not going to because if you go back to the other days, like th clearly I've read those eight pages like in another day. So we're just going to count it for today. A little cheating, but that's okay. I'm really loving this book. It is so funny. It is so perfect for middle schoolers. Um, it's just, it's just so fun to read. Uh, there's five books. I have all five. I finished. Very excited, very happy to have finished this. My dogs are freaking out right now because somebody is outside. I'm assuming the male lady. This was a really fun challenge for me to do and I had a lot of fun. I would like to do this again sometime. Like it was really fun. It just kept me, I don't know. It kept me consistent. I would say it just kept me consistent reading every day. And that was lovely. I was able to get through two books and that was fun. And yeah, I just had a really good time. So I would love to know if you guys, uh, have ever done something similar to this. If you've ever like tried to read specific number of pages every single day or anything like that, like done the pickup challenge or whatever. I would love to know, um, one, how many books made it in that week? And also like, are you on your phone a lot? Are you not on your phone a lot? I feel like I am not on my phone a lot, but then I look at the pickups and I'm like, dang, that is a lot of pickups. So I don't know, maybe I am. I don't know. I feel as though, I wonder if like this week my pickups were different. I'm going to let you guys go now and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all the things, uh, and all the YouTube stuff. And I will see you guys in my next video. My next video will be my last video until I give birth. So, um, or well, yeah, uh, well, it'll be my last video and then I'm giving birth and then I'm taking a little vacation, but I'll explain more in that last video in the next video that is coming out. So, um, yeah. Okay. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>